So Senator going back from, to Senator the, from Pickens, what purpose do you ask? I see if the Senator will yield for a question. Of course. Senator yields for a question. I've been listening for two days and I have a question that I was going to wait and see if you covered it, and you may cover it before it's over with, but I'm thinking about business that I'm in, uh, thinking about truck drivers, CDL truck drivers that are coming out of other states. Uh, right now, you have to do random testing on CDL truck drivers. If they have a certificate uh, that allows them to purchase whatever the product is, wherever it is, and they use it this week. Next week, they're going to test positive. What, what do we do about that? How do we handle that? Yeah, the Trucking Association asked that. And in fact, if I can find the, um, the language, but we included language in here um, that would give the association authority to prohibit that. What? I mean, it, in other words, the, the right to access medical cannabis, even if it's given by a doctor and authorization and taking it, doesn't trump the right of, of that trucking line or that service to say, I'm sorry, we're, we, we don't allow that here. In other words, it's not an overriding right. So the truck driver, if you're, if you're employed in the transfer, in, if you go to page 21 in there, that's probably going to, if that, if you got the same document that my seatmate's got over here, that's probably going to be where we address that. So it sounds like to me, if you've got a CDL driver's license and are employed in the transportation business, uh, you may even be a bus driver for the school district that your certificate that those people cannot get Anything they can't get any product They, they might get the product, but they they would be subject to discharge um, Or being fired if they had it. I mean if, if that were against those regulations So if they test positive they can be terminated even though they have they, a certificate They could and 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 that was one of the things we also did not just in regard to trucking and and bus drivers and whatever any business, okay, any business, and this was at the request of the Chamber of Commerce, any business that wants to establish a drug-free workplace, any business that wants to, it has, it is sovereign in that workspace. And, and the only way I can think of it is, um, um, well, I'll just say this. Um, you do not have a right, even though you have a certification from a doctor saying you can take medical cannabis, you do not have a right to go against what an employer's policies might be. You are subject to discharge that is not a right that supersedes the right of the workplace, the, the employer to control the workplace. So, and what I've run into in the past is obviously somebody comes in and tests positive this week. They say, well, I didn't do anything this week. I did it last week, but I still tested positive. You're saying the employer can terminate? It's the employers. I mean, and, unless there's something in their handbook and they, they, they've got a contract, but if you're talking about an at-will employment context, which is what we, we mostly are, you could absolutely discharge them for that reason. Okay, thank you. Senator from Anderson, Senator Cash, what purpose do you rise, sir? See if the senator would yield for a question. Senator yields. Se senator yields for a question. Senator, I'm not intending to go off on my whole list of questions. I just, I do no. want to clarify this point. Sure. It is uh, section 4453-2140. The last paragraph, which is paragraph D, says the department may not issue a registry identification card to a person who is employed in public safety, commercial transportation, or the operation of commercial machinery, which means that if a even if a truck driver goes and gets a certificate from a physician, when he takes that certificate to get his registration card, uh, he should not be allowed to get the card. I mean, that's clearly what it, the You're language right, states here. That, that's the way it's phrased, and as I recall now, that was put in there at the request of SLED. Um, they, they wanted that in there as a prohibition. So I'm, you're right. I misspoke when I said if you get a registry card, that doesn't trump um, an employer's right to um, um, have a drug-free workplace. That, that is preeminent. But you're right. In the context of, of 2140, when you're talking about what was it, the um, uh, law enforcement and... Um, Public safety, commercial transportation, yeah. and the operation of commercial machinery. You simply cannot get the That's, card. And you're correct. That's an outright ban on that one. You're correct. Senator from Greenville, Senator Loftus, what purpose do you ask? You, would, uh, he, 
with this synergy for another course, no, I, couple of questions. Senator uh, Yields for question, or questions. That conversation spurred some other questions for me. Okay. One is how do you, with this last question, with the representative of Anderson, uh, Senator from Anderson, uh, how are you going to track, the, how is that tracked? In terms of whether or not they're employed in that status, so right. that um, um, it would have to be, because DHEC is ultimately the one that, um, authorizes or issues the registry cards. That's the, that's, I mean, they're the ones that, that issue the card. Do they have to check what then, yeah. the employment of that person or? You're, make, you're making a good point in, in that if we're going to have, and, and um, we have people making notes, if you're going to have as a prescription against accessing medical cannabis individuals in certain industries in the statute, there has to be a mechanism whereby an agency that's involved in the authorization knows what that employment status is. I'll need to look back and see whether or not that information is included. I think it might be because there's a list of, of, of a, a, and I'll get to it in a moment, there's a questionnaire that the patient has to fill out and submit to DHEC. I think it may have on there, it may have in there employment status or how they work, but, but as I go through this bill, I'll flag that in my mind and, and come back to you on that. The other question that comes up is HIPAA. Does the employer have a right to ask an employee if they are using any controlled or non-controlled substance? My understanding is that a, a, an employer, um, as a matter of law, has the right to impose the restrictions it wants, whether it's urinalysis tests, whether, whatever it might be, that, that is the employer. And again, the point I'm tr I was trying they're to They're asking about medical history, actually, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, guess the, 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 I guess the point that I'm getting to here is, and sitting down with the chamber and using their language, they wanted to make sure that somehow the employer's right to control that workplace environment wasn't going to be trumped by an individual's right to take medical cannabis. And so it, we included into this, into this, into this bill language that makes it clear that a person's holding of that card does not trump that employer's right to control that workplace. If an employee is using this product, well, if they were, supposedly they're not going to be, re, they will be rejected if they're operating a, a vehicle or something, big vehicle, or that sort of thing. But if they get past that, they're involved in an accident, the liability claims are still there against the company and everything, correct? Yeah, I think in terms of um, there's, no, there's no there's no leniency there. Yeah, I think if you're if you're acting within the scope of your employment, that your your actions can right. be attributed back. Even though the employer employer has no knowledge of it, correct? I think that's probably right. All right. 